Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So apologies for this voice. I am ill and I have a throat infection but I thought I'd film this look for you. So a couple of weeks ago I went to Sephora in Kuwait and picked up some new bits. So I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette which is what I used to create this look today and I am obsessed. And can we just talk about this highlight? It is amazing and it has been sitting in my makeup storage for so long and I can't believe I haven't been using it. But I am super excited to finally be using this and I'm definitely going to be using the other colours that are on the palette in further tutorials. So without further ado, let's get this tutorial started. So first up I am using the rose oil that I have used in previous tutorials but my skin is quite oily and so I have heard that it is actually better to use a little bit of oil on your face before you start your makeup if you have oily skin. It has worked for me so I will continue to do so <laughs> and use it. And just do a few drops and then I can massage it into my skin. And then massage down the neck and into my ears as well. Okay, and then second I am using the Nip and Fab Dragon Blood Serum and I've used this in previous tutorials as well but I just love the kind of texture it gives you on your skin. So I literally use a tiny amount like that, just throwing it on my bed and then massage that in as well in the same places. So I am going to be using a few other things like quite a lot of actually new products that I've bought recently either from seeing it on YouTube videos or just people telling me that it's really good. So I actually needed a new primer and I didn't want to spend ridiculous amounts of money so I just went into Kiko and bought the Radiant Boost. So I haven't actually used this on yet so it's kind of like a first impressions I guess. So I'll just use a tiny amount. It's quite, it looks a bit like rose gold. It's really really pretty. I used it on my hand in the store and I really really liked what it looked like. I used to really like a matte face but now I really like the dewy kind of glowy look so that's what I'm going to try and go for today. It, is really, it makes your face feel so nice. I bought primers before for mattifying and I just hate how they feel and how they smell so this actually has no smell and it is really soft on the skin. So then I'm going to go back to my setting spray. So this is an Abarian bottle but it's actually MAC Fix Plus. My Fix Plus bottle broke so I've just replaced it into this and it's quite actually handy to take about with me like travel size. So I spray that all over my face and then I go in with my beauty blender and just pat that in. I actually saw this on Mac Daddy's YouTube channel. Um, I love his makeup so I really was inspired to try and get his glowy look and I've actually bought a few products from his channel that I've seen as well. So after doing this it kind of soaks it all up in the beauty blender which is really nice so you kind of already have a wet beauty blender ready to go for your next stage. So just being a bit OTG with this but it feels really nice. Okay so next, oh I dropped it. <laughs> okay so next I'm using the RCMA foundation and this is also what I saw on Mac Daddy's channel. This is colour KO3. So obviously he's an American makeup channel and it's really hard to find the foundation. There is quite a few beauty stores that stock RCMA but not the foundation. But there was actually a store which I will link down below that I found which you can buy online. They had most of the makeup colours, the foundation colours available and I actually went to collect it from High Street Kensington store and once I saw him using it on himself and on Laura Lee I was obsessed so I am going to, I've been using this for at least two three weeks now. Um, the coverage is 
amazing. You hardly need anything. You literally just take your beauty blender, dab it in there, and just press it onto the skin. And I've always been a lovely, I just, I've always been a person who loves full face, like a full coverage. And this really gives you a really nice full coverage without using a lot of product, which is really good because you don't want a cakey face. Just literally you hardly need anything and it really gives like a really lovely flawless coverage. You kind of just press it onto the skin. So you, and then you're using all of the priming stuff that's been stuck onto the beauty blender and just pressing it in with your foundation. So I bought the colour 3 and I was a bit worried about the shade because obviously when you're buying foundations online it's so hard to match but when I went into the store like they let me check it before I took it away with me and it was a perfect match. So I do like to tan, do like a fake tan and this is kind of like an amazing base colour for my tan as well as no tan because then you can just build up bronzing and contouring so that you do match. So I've actually hardly used any and it's such a nice coverage. I'm just, oh, I love it. And I really don't use a lot. And it feels really light on the skin, which is so nice because I've used so many products for full face and it just feels so cakey and thick. Whereas this is so light. I wore this when I went to Kuwait a couple of weeks ago and the weather was like 40 degrees. I was melting, but my makeup stayed amazing. And, I, and also this foundation, it was the test and it was perfect. Back with Cabral. I haven't actually used this for a while, but it's basically the same stuff, just in a little pot with a little brush, so. With my brows, I kind of am not too worried about getting it perfect the first go because just you can always correct with concealer and I do this anyway. So I get my brows tinted and waxed at Benefit and that really, 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 really helps when it comes to shaping your brows because you then ha hardly have to do a shape at all because you have got some like a guideline already and I do have odd brows so I do have to fill them in in different ways but it, it's fine because you just learn how to don't change I guess do your brows so I've actually forgot how good this product was. I have gone a bit crazy on these bits, but that's where the concealer comes in. So what I normally do is fill them in with the Precisely and then I take the spoolie end and I just brush the product through because it gives a lot more of like a natural look rather than all the product getting stuck and being clumpy on your brow. It does make it slightly messy and I brush it into the center as well. But then you just get your concealer. I'm using the NARS Custard Concealer and literally all I do is take a tiny flat brush like so and just dip it in and I like it quite thick because then it really you can really get a really sharp line and it makes your brows just really really nice so then I brush all the excess down onto my eye because then it kind of acts like a primer 
especially if you don't actually use a primer this is perfect for your base for your eyeshadow so you can tell the difference already from this brow to this brow so that's what I mean by not worrying you just can easily sort it out with some concealer so still the same dip in the concealer pot and just getting such a nice line so I, recently I've been really liking just really natural brows obviously my brows are really uneven I think so anyway so I do still have to fill them in quite a bit like I could never really go out without brows I wish I had thick brows but I, like I said I've been having them done at benefit I don't pluck them myself or anything I just let them deal with it every four to six weeks so it is growing but just very slowly and it's a very painful process but hopefully one day I will have those lovely bushy brows Skinny Dick sent me all of their makeup brushes their new ones and these are gold and pink and they are so soft so I am going to be using all of these today so I will now start with my eyes and I will be taking the Skinny Dip EM Basic E1 brush. Looks like this. Kind of just like a little fluffy eye brush. So I will go in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and give my eyes a little primer. You literally hardly need any, especially with this brush, it actually picks up a lot of product. So I probably put too much on the other eye, but as long as you blend it out, it's fine. So I'm super excited for this tutorial because I, when I was in Kuwait, I got a new eyeshadow palette. Going in with the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh my god can we just look at this palette oh my god so i've used this a few times and i am obsessed i've been using the Too faced palette now for so long that i kind of just forgot about using other palettes or buying other palettes and i've really wanted to do like a red smoky eye or just like a really subtle red smoky eye and obviously this is probably the go-to palette for it so first off i am going into tempura and I am actually using the, the brush that comes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills just for the base. So Tempura is the lightest shade on here and it's just really lovely for a base coat. So just press it on, going for the other eye. Moving on to eyes, I am now gonna use the Crease Police E2 brush by Skinny Dip. And I am now going to be dipping in to Raw Sienna in the bottom corner these brushes pick up a lot so you don't need too much on the brush it's always easier to do a buildable eye rather than putting too much product on and just messing it all up I have learned the hard way and ruined all my makeup because of this. So I'm going to do circular motions into the crease. This brush is so soft, like I could just keep doing this forever. So that gives a really lovely gradient. And just do it on the other eye. Just pat it on. Okay. So using the same brush, because we're just building, I'm gonna now go in to Burn Orange, which is this shade, Ooh. same brush, and just bit building that color. <laughs> then taking the Blend Baby Blend E3 brush, it looks like this. I'm then going to deep dip into Real Go. I don't know how you say that. <laughs> anyway, I've shown you which one it is. 
But this palette is so good. Even if you just wanted to do like a brown smoky eye, you've literally got everything. So nice. Blending that all in. Okay. Now this is when we get to the fun part and start building into the red. So I'm still using the same brush and I am going to be dipping into red ochre. Getting those corners darker. Okay, and then dipping into Love Letter. There. Oh, this is my favourite part because I just obsess with these reds. Same on the other eye. So really focusing on the inner corners. And then just spreading into the middle. Just lightly dusting it out. Finally, dipping into Venetian Red, which is a super strong, bold colour. And just finally going in to the corners. Taking the E2 brush again, I'm just using whatever colours on that and just blending everything out. And then finally, I then use the brush that comes with the palette that's only been used on Tempura and just lightly, not dipping into any product, just kind of blending all of the product out on the corners. so that everything is super blended and on the inner corners as well and just brushing that kind of out so you've got more of like a highlight so moving on to lashes I actually got these sent to me on Instagram by the brand called Pink River London and they are cruelty free lashes so obviously I said hell yes um, obviously I haven't tried these out yet so this will be a little first impressions from them and let's see what these look like on the eyes. Lashes are on, they are super bushy and big. Uh, they aren't normally something I would go for but with this eye look they definitely work. So now I'm going to go on to contouring and take my NARS creamy concealer in custard and just do my under eyes. This isn't that much lighter than my foundation because sometimes for like a just a sometimes you don't want it to be super bright, especially if you're going anywhere with flash. You don't want to have terrible contour. I have seen pictures and they look terrifying. <laughs> so just going back with my beauty blender and putting that all in. This foundation definitely sets a tiny bit darker after you've used it, which is perfect for me for my tan. But just take that into mind and if you are thinking of getting it because you obviously don't want to get it and then it's <laughs> way too dark for you, but it doesn't oxidize that much. I think I'm just being a bit dramatic. Obviously, you can just use concealer to brighten it up. So, concealer done. Now, I'm going to move on to my darker contour. So, I'm using the Iconic palette, and as you can see, it is well loved. So, I am dipping into the middle shade. This is the multi use contouring set. So, literally, just there. And with this foundation, it's so nice to use creams with it. Because you've got such a light base that's full coverage, it really takes the cream makeup so well for blending. Just 
on the jawline and on the nose. This brush is Kaylin. It doesn't actually say which one it is, but I always use it for my cream contours because it just is so nice. So, once that is done, and you are looking super crazy, I am going to go in with the Skinny Dip Cool My Buff C2 brush and just blend that in. Can you see, like it's just so flawless how the creams just blend so well with this foundation. It really gives a flawless look. I love, love, love it. So, I don't tend to bake too much because I always get stressed that my my makeup will go really cakey because of my oily skin. But recently, another thing I saw on Mac Daddy's channel was this RCMA No Color Powder. I also got this at the same place. I got the foundation, and obviously you get so much for your money. It really wasn't that much that expensive. Um, I will pop how much it was here. So it's kind of like what you get spices in I guess so the only thing the only trouble with this is that you don't have a lid to tip in and pat away so I normally have to quickly scramble and find something to tip this in normally I just end up whatever eyelashes I use because now I have a little bit eyelash storage place I don't really use the packaging any much so I'll just use the lid literally that's all I use. Go back in with my beauty blender and just pat it on under the eye. I hardly use anything. Just all in the lighter areas. And I don't set it for too long. For me, it doesn't really work that well if I use too much powder. So, whilst that is doing its thing, I am going to get my favourite powder contour kit. If you haven't seen my videos already, this is my favourite. So, this again, super, super well loved. I've actually started using the other colours, the lighter colours, for just everyday use. This is a perfect mattifying powder if you are out on the go and you get a bit oily. Because if you've got a big enough bag, just throw this in because you can just touch up your contour or whatever. I know it's a bit dramatic, but it really works for me. Like, you hardly have to use anything and then your shine goes and you are looking cute again okay so now I'm using the fat out flat <laughs> fat flat out fabulous c3 brush try and say that without doing what I just did and I am going to dip into the middle shade which is called shadow play and just going to add on to my contour I hardly use anything and just buff that into the skin same on the other side so right so we are getting bronzed just under the actually I probably should use this skinny dip blend the rules I see for so now I'm literally gonna use this to buff all my powder in I literally hardly had it like I know some people do bake for like hours that ain't for me so on the forehead and I just blend it all in and then I go back with my beauty blender and just carve out the contour just 
So you've got a really nice little line. And just... Moving on to another little first impressions. This is the Sleek Highlighting Palette Solstice. And I have seen so many people use this. So this has been sitting around for a while and I'm just like, what am I doing? So this is what it looks like. You have got a rose gold shimmery highlight. You have a lilac shimmery highlight. And then you have two ones which one looks a bit creamy and the other one is like a lemon be clear which name is which so i am going to take my morphe m510 brush which is my favorite highlighting right let's see quite a lot comes off so let's have a go Ooh. oh my lord literally this is one dip I wish I had used a lilac now, but just gotta wait for another tutorial, guys. Does anyone else do really weird accents when they're just talking to themselves? Or is it just me? Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this highlighter! Literally a tiny bit on the brow, so all you can be popping. Just a bit on the forehead. Got a blind and evil girl. You know when it's like this good, you just wanna just keep doing it. So finally, going back to my Mac Fix Plus in a little imposter bottle. Finally, let's move on to lips. Okay, because we have done such a crazy eye, I'm gonna go in with a lovely nude lip, and this is Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. It is my absolute favorite. I wear this absolutely every single day because it's just such a nice nude. Literally goes with everything. And there we have it. So here is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I am starting to feel so much more confident. I love all of your comments you give me. It is so kind of you. And I do feel like I am growing with you. I'm obviously not an amazing YouTube guru, but I am learning just as much as you are. And I really hope you enjoy coming on this journey with me because it is so fun and I am really loving it. I started doing a vlogging as well so if you haven't seen my first vlog then I will pop it in the description box below. Please like and subscribe if you want to see any kind of more videos like this then leave a thumbs up and just let me know what you guys think. Tweet me what kind of videos you'd like to see from me, what kind of looks what kind of products you want me to try out, I am open for everything. So without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.